We're almost there. Over there? We have to go, what, left? Watch out for those death traps. Let's go up there. Now all we have to do is pull this lever, and here it is. The Scarab King's Tomb. Nice place. You could steal the key from your father more often, Asil. Come on, hand over a beer. Damn, we've forgotten the bottle opener. Oh well, who's going to tell the first spooky story? Erm, um, don't you think it's spooky enough in here already? You don't believe in ghosts, do you, coward? For me, it was spooky enough to come up here and tiptoeing over all those traps. Jeez, we didn't step into a single trap, we didn't meet any mummies, so there's really nothing to worry about. <laughs> You have desecrated my tomb! Let's see. Six broken urns, that means. A warning! It was seven! Um, oops. Seven? Well, in that case, you're in for a death curse! Okay, now try explaining that to your father. At least we have a bottle opener now. Is it just Fata Morgana? Tell me, is it really true? What a play of light and shadow. The city's just waiting for you. Fate and treats and tasty scorpions under the eye of the sun. Left to the Nile and right by the desert, that's where Egyptians have fun. Yes, this is Cairo, it's all magic and sand. With the greatness of culture, but it's all in your hand. Ooh, it's the guide of the gods and the girls with their beautiful hair. You prepare, but beware, take care. See this face and worship the pharaoh, go meet the crocodile. Feel lonely by a slave in the city down by the Nile. Yes, this is Cairo. It's all magic and sand. With the greatness of culture, but it's all in your hand. Ooh, it's the guide of the gods and the girls with their beautiful hair. You prepare, but beware. Take care. Ooh, take care. Asil, could it possibly be that yesterday you took my keys? Uh, yeah, well... If the pharaoh finds out, he's going to go bananas. Dad, I've got worse things to worry about. I've been cursed by a mummy, and only the pharaoh can uncurse me. A mummy's curse? It's time that you grow up. You just want to sneak out of your punishment, but that won't help you. You're grounded for a week. An entire week? Dad, I might have just a few more hours to live. I don't want to hear any more excuses. This is pointless. Damn it. In a few hours, the curse is going to send me off into the netherworld. And the pharaoh is the only one who can lift curses. But if I walk through that door... My father will definitely do worse. How do I get out of this situation? Good shot, Black Eye. You go first. Me? Now you go first. Hey, this is my chance to escape. Today must be my lucky day after all. Hello everyone, and this is Ankh. I've recorded this before but i don't know why the video ended up being stupid looking um so i'm trying this again uh in case you know there's you're a silver aware, coin inside that could be useful in case none of you are aware this game is my childhood but i never got to play it because the cd 
didn't work for some reason. And I've been through, I imagine, most of the game, but I've forgotten most of it. Hey, the vase has unjammed the mechanism. This is a click and pointer game, I believe it's what it's called. I'll take the clothes hanger too. And something I really, really love about it is there's so much dialogue. And as in, it's very detailed. Like you can click on so many things and there's like a unique name for it. Audio. An old family heirloom. It's become a bit stubborn lately. And it's just, it's great. It's a very old game, but it still works. It's available on Steam. It used to be called uh, Ankh Reverse I can use Curse, this as a rope. But now it's known as Ankh Anniversary Edition, I guess? I don't, I don't necessarily understand why. You could store lots of things in here. See, there's just so much audio. It's so amazing. I love that kind of detail with the game. How much did they pay these voices? Freedom, actors? here I come! Woohoo! Don't worry, Black Eye. I don't think that any danger awaits us inside. <laughs> Maybe I was wrong. Um, uh, excuse me. Uh, what exactly is going on in there? I think you shouldn't go in there if you value your life. But we're fierce mercenaries after all. Right, just got our diploma yesterday. Well then, at least we're going to take care of you. Sounds like a nice warm up. Sorry about my dogs. They're being stupid. Uh, this is, this is another thing. Look at this. There's just so much audio. It's like... I want to say it's like Telltale, but I never actually bought any games from Telltale. I'd Let's like break to know the something fourth wall. First. Can you actually die in this adventure? Well, the developer has taken his inspiration from games in the classical adventure games vein, so no, no, not usually. <laughs> and is it possible to play so poorly that I hit a dead end? Well, since the developer didn't do a sloppy job, it's not even necessary to save the game. However, you should do that now and then anyway. I'll be the judge of how sloppy this is. Do I have to solve shifting puzzles or sound memory games? Only someone who's trying to waste time would create such boring puzzles. I'm pretty sure we have those in this game. But they're not that boring. Do I need a walkthrough to solve the game? Of course! The game was designed to be difficult enough that you need to use a walkthrough to get through it. Which you can order through our homepage. At a discount. Of course. Now that, I don't think it's up anymore. But you could, you could find a walkthrough anyways. It's simple. Is the plot realistic? And are the characters well developed? <laughs> okay, that's enough. You'll have to find that out yourself. Fine, no, I go like, ahead. I cool. like knowing so, behind uh, the scenes. So, where were we? Oh yeah, killing. Mm. Do we have to? Sure you do. Break the game. <laughs> well, I'm definitely not saying that. Sorry, but I'm in a rush. I've got to see the Pharaoh. The Pharaoh? <laughs> You're not going to get to see him that easily. What do I have to do to get rid of you? Get rid of us? <laughs> but we're the ones who want to get rid of you. Oh, I think we can make a little exception if you'd agree to pay a small price in exchange for your life. Let's say 20,000 silver coins. How does that sound? Unrealistic. Uh, I only have one silver coin. Well, it's not much. We're about to start. Thanks again, and have a nice day. We've got some business to take care of. What have I done? I have to get my silver coin back. Okay, I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. Hopefully, everything works. Uh, I also adjusted 
volume a bit, so my voice hopefully doesn't sound as awful. Um, what did we? What were we supposed to do? I forget. Get back my single coin. Find a way to speak to the pharaoh. Yes. You again. <laughs> Who did you say you want to kill? This is the house of the guy that constructed the Sphinx. So, he knows too much, and we're sent to bump him off. Nothing special, you see. Seems pretty special. Hey, give me my silver coin back! No way! Now we can finally get something to eat! Uh, but if we go, the architect might run away, don't you think? Oh, right. Oh, what a sticky situation. How can we be in two places at one time? By having two people. <laughs> no problem. You guys go grab some chow and I'll hold down the fort. You may be good at jumping through windows, but how are you at cutting throats, eh? I have my doubts. You don't know what I've done with these hands. I don't know what that is. So, How about the try. famous Kala Couscous? Kala Couscous always burns the couscous. I'd sooner starve than eat that. I don't know what it is. Oh man. There we go. There are two of you. One of you can go and the other can stay here. Hey, look at that twit. He'd eat everything himself and come back empty handed. But leave him here. Standing around by himself, he wouldn't be able to keep track of the architect even if he was stepping on his feet. So why is he here? Hey, I could grab you guys something to eat. Oh, you do that? <laughs> but I'd need to go. have my silver coin back for that. Oh, of course. Yeah, so you can take off with it. First the job, then the dough. That's the way it works with assassins. That is fair. Okay, I'll see what I can rustle up. Fine, now go. Oh no, not again. I already have to put two videos together. Guys, just bear with the barking, the dog won't shut up. This is what I have to deal with, with one of our dogs. There it is, up there. The Pharaoh's Palace. That's where I have to go. I love the detail. The animation's not the best, but it's great. Welcome, young man. Welcome to the Great Bazaar. If you ever need some help, just come to me. Hi, Volcano. Um... I mean... How can I leave Cairo? How can I leave Cairo? There's a little ferry down by the Nile. Oh. But first, you should know where you want to go. You shouldn't simply trust the ferryman. Well, that's my opinion. That's a good opinion. Thanks a lot. Maybe I'll come back later. Oh, no problem, my friend. I like that guy. Can I steal the vase? I don't need a vase. Claims to sell important things. This lady is not a very good Good morning, friend. a seal. Nice of you to drop by. Wow, what happened to your hand? It's a really awesome tattoo. You know exactly what happened. That happened in the pyramids yesterday. Don't you remember? Yeah, there was a lot going on yesterday. Yeah, but the chicks are gonna be all over you, man. Well, just for a little while at least. I see none of that happening. Uh... Your <laughs> unending sympathy comforts me somehow. Oh, quit whining. My grandfather supposedly beat 27 curses. I don't believe that. And I love the sarcasm. Oh yeah? And how did your grandfather deal with it? 
Well, he jumped off the palace wall with his one remaining leg. Maybe it was just an accident. He had gone blind by that time. Gone blind? But the blindness curse had its good side. He didn't have to see his seeping sores anymore. So what I got from that is he beat it by dying. Which makes no difference. Can you help me get rid of this curse? Help you? Wait a minute, that would mean... Try to get into the palace, probably mess with the pharaoh, and after that, most likely trouble with the gods. Hmm, let me think about it a minute. No thanks. And I mean that as a friend, of course. Besides, I can't take off from here anyway. My sick father's business would be ruined. Do you want to buy something? You're still not a very good friend. What do you have? Well... I have cured rattlesnake meat from Abu Simbel, or these really cool Cleopatra shower curtain rings, and brand new Sphinx head trimmers. <laughs> no wonder your business is going under. Okay, I haven't offered you any of the really good stuff, like the treasure map, because you don't have any money anyway. A treasure map? It leads to the greatest treasure in the desert, but unfortunately, I can't really sell it. Why not? Because it's so valuable, you would have to give me a pile of gold for it. Yeah, that's... that's... I don't believe that. How about this? You give me the map, I'll find the treasure, and then I'll pay. Hey, if I ran my business like that, I really would be broke. No, you wouldn't. That makes no sense. Okay. Of course, I'll have to look at it to make sure it's authentic. Nice try. Yeah, it's not authentic. That's the problem. No problem. I'll scrape together the money somehow. Okay, I won't hold my breath. You are an awful friend. Alright. Old lady. She actually doesn't have a name. Can I steal her purse? Hey! You oaf! Hands off my purse! <laughs> a seal, environmental agency. You're violating animal protection laws. But I never eat animals. She's a vegetarian. I mean your purse. You're carrying a dead animal. Yikes! I killed an animal? I wasn't trying to do anything bad. You didn't kill it, don't worry. Give us the purse, and I'll let you off the hook. Wow, I got lucky. Here, have my purse. Take notes, thieves. This is how it's done. <laughs> Fantastic. Taylor. Can he see anything with that device in front of his eyes? Their glasses. Oh, but... hello there, pretty girl. Let's see what I can do for you. How about a charming summer dress? Or maybe something rustic? I also have underwear in stock. Panties, bras in all sizes. I even have a dressing room. There's one that would fit you just perfectly. Stop! What? I was wrong. How would you think I'm a girl even with this blurry vision? <sighs> I'm scared to ask that. I'm more into leather, if you know what I mean. Oh, I just sold the last one an hour ago. I'm just about to receive the new shipment of those leather masks with the zippers. Maybe you'll find something you like. There you you should go to the optician before something really bad happens to you. Hmm. Yeah, my tailoring business is in a crisis right now. Either I've started to lose some of my tailoring talents, or my scissors are garbage. Or both. Yes! Or both. Now you just listen. I'm a great tailor. I've made great clothes for the pharaoh, and she loved them. Although I do she. find her tastes in clothing a little masculine. So you can tell the clothes, but you can't tell the gender of people. The pharaoh isn't a woman, you blind bat. How do you 
you know? Did you check? I wouldn't have expected something like that from you. Touche. So what's with your scissors? Uh, honestly, I think they're dull. I need to have them sharpened again. <laughs> oh, jeez. Why don't you just do it yourself? But I can hardly walk by myself. I stumble over every stone and it's a long way to the Nile. Can you help me? Or are you just a selfish lady? Seriously. Oh, all right then. That's great. Here are the scissors. When I could still see things, I would walk down to the Nile to sharpen my tools. Nice little hint right there. Oh, melon. It's seen better days. It's mine now. Will I ever actually use these? Smells, Smells a bit rotten. It's mine now. I'd rather not touch that. Too bad I'm taking it. I'm going to end up skipping through a lot of the audio logs because... One, I can't get to them all. Don't try anything stupid! Hey, take your hands off me, gorilla! I like her already! What's going on over there? Who is that lady? Did I don't you see remember the game at all? Well. I fell asleep during the second half. This is the slave Inside owner. Inside the arena? Well, you know, the slaves are always sitting behind the stadium. Hey buddy, looking for a real bargain? Why is the poor man wearing chains? Because he's a slave, you fool. Slaves wear chains so they can't run away. Says the guy who get anybody arms for went them at inside all. him. And this one here is going to bring me 300 lovely silver pieces. That's a human rights violation. Go and tell the pharaoh then. <laughs> he doesn't seem to see it that way. Touche. A what? A what? The pharaoh is a schmuck anyway. Kid, are you crazy? If somebody hears us, it'll be all over for us. Blasphemy is a serious offense. Well, then, screw the government. <laughs> I wanted to pay a visit to that guy anyway. You won't have much luck with that. Only really rich aristocrats get invited to the pharaoh's parties, or jesters, when he's bored. But he doesn't have a very good sense of humor, and his lions are always hungry. And now you'll have to excuse me, I have a business to run. Al Ratchib usually sits on the shoulders of his brother. Let's go to the road. Pretty sure there's more stuff I should be collecting. Bananas everywhere. Crocodiles prohibited? But the Nile isn't actually around the corner. Well, yeah, what about That's the rest of That's not quite my style. Take it anyway. Let's just walk in. We can do that, right? You there! Halt! Don't take another step. Otherwise, you'll be trespassing on private property. And my partner and I, well, we'll have to dismember you for that offense. Sounds pretty severe, but we the Pharaoh's guards, who fear nothing and no one, know no mercy. You sound like you're not actually their guards. Um... <laughs> uh-huh, so you guys aren't afraid of anything. Afraid? Us? Don't make me laugh. There's nothing, I mean nothing, that could scare us. That's great voice acting, though. Vultures? Why would people not be afraid of vultures? Not even rabid monkeys? Nope, not afraid of them. I am. That's scary. 
Phantom wolves. Not even phantom cockroaches. Not even our little sisters would be afraid of those creatures. Why not go with regular cockroaches? They're just as scary. Um... Not even poisonous jellyfish. I once had a cousin who knew somebody who was said to be afraid of them, but I think even that was just a rumor. Yeah, jellyfish aren't that scary. Guinea pigs are not at all scary. Slime lions. Not even slime lions. Child's play. Like I said, we're fearless peacekeepers. Any more questions? More like peace avoiders. <laughs> okay, I guess I don't need to ask about crocodiles then. Ugh! Crocodiles! Oh no, you just reminded me of this terrible slaughter down there by the harbor when the river pirates attacked and there was this croc... Godile, it bit all these arms off. Ever since then, we do our work up here, far away from the croc... All right, I don't want to hear anything more about these devil lizards. Got it? I don't even want to think about it. Okay, whatever. I think it would be better if you just left. We fearless sentinels need to meditate a little and just shut up about this slimy green uh, thing. Okay then, I guess I don't need to mention that they run the government. <laughs> That's funny. This is probably going to be a fairly long video, but I don't think I will be able to finish chapter one. And with my sanity. Game. <laughs> but I sold a lucky last week. How can that one tell anything anymore? Well, that's the Good problem day, indeed. Good day, sir. Could I interest you in a few luxuries? Items with style? The way you look, uh, probably not. Rude. Hey, have you ever heard the phrase, the customer's always right? Ever heard that store owners are only nice to customers who look like they can actually pay for something? Yeah, but when they do get to pay for something, they're not gonna buy stuff here. I'm not interested in this junk. I'm looking for something special. Something special? You should go to my other store in the lower part of the bazaar. This time we've only listened to it. I can't say what it is, that but he's it. got something that about him that makes me feel Wanted uneasy. It's Mocha the mustache. It's totally Hang the mustache. Hang on a minute. The pharaoh cut out Fadis Akbar's tongue, didn't he? Hello, sir. You're in the right place if you have, uh, something particular in mind? Good thing I don't. <laughs> Sleazy, mag Sleazy magazines? No, occult items. Artifacts used for contacting the gods. I just noticed... Wait, is that an ankh you're wearing around your neck? Could it possibly be the ankh? The ankh? Um, I thought it was a bottle opener, actually. A bottle opener? Uh, yeah. <laughs> of course. For a second there, I thought it was... Oh, never mind. I'd pay you for that bottle opener. The Ankh? Yes, it's clearly blue. Something tells me I should hold on to it. As you like. <laughs> I'll get it one way or another. Uh, I mean, I'll get out one thing or another that I think you might like. Maybe we can do business later. I know every nook and cranny of this city. I'll definitely be of use to you. Yeah, you're not fooling anyone, my dude. This is where food comes from. Olga's Fish Burgers. Hungry cat. This cat looks very hungry. It makes an adventurous impression. I don't know how to respond to that. I think there was a fish cake inside. That's mine now. Let's go take stuff. <laughs> hey! Hands off, you boar! A what? 
Excuse me? Can I help you? I'm a boar, apparently. I have to have one of these fish sandwiches. Hold on a minute. That'll be two silver pieces. You got that much on you? I don't even have one. This is about life and <laughs> death. Exactly. It'll be about your life when I let this spatula fly. Okay, there's a certain level of sass I appreciate. This went over the territory. I declare war. That's terrifying, though. That's animal cruelty! Did you touch anything there? Clearly not. No, I did nothing. Too bad I couldn't catch fish. Stinky fishy. If someone is supposed to eat this one, it better be wrapped up well. It's too slippery. I can't grab it like this. If it looks like I know what I'm doing, it's because I've played this game before, but I don't remember everything. Gotcha. So I have a walkthrough handy. I'm not using it right now, though. That is it. Do I actually ever use these, honestly? That's a very good question I want to know. I don't think I do. Let's talk to more people. Wait! Don't say anything! You're like an open book! You're... Uh, from... the... IRS and wanna collect my last time! Seems about right. Wow! <laughs> and I thought we IRS agents were perfectly disguised. No! Wait! It's all becoming clear! You... you... Uh, want to sell me a subscription for a tattoo magazine! <laughs> Exactly. Just one silver coin for a year's subscription. You, uh, collect donations for Alcoholics Anonymous. Where are you getting these from? Your premonitions are lousy. All right, I admit it. I used to be a much better clairvoyant. That's why I became a personal and uh, business advisor. How nice. You don't have to know much to do that, and you still get paid. I'm having a little problem with the death curse. Oh no! You don't have a problem yet! Come back when you really have a problem! Oh yes, because the tattoo on my arm is clearly not a problem. It's <laughs> covered with scrape marks. <laughs> Sorry. I just sneezed. Uh, what was I gonna do? Oh yeah. The scissors are sharp now! Can I use the fairy? Hey kid, everything okay? Nice heat, my ride, don't you think? Yeah, a real dreamboat, kid. <laughs> What'd you need? Why do you sound like a rapper to me? <laughs> I believe this is a reference, so I'm gonna What go do I with need? It. Sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Oh, so you mind the usual. <laughs> that when the pyramids were being built, you could get stuff on every corner and a girl on every other. Then you'd stumble into the first bar you could find a bell out songs until the next shift on the pyramid started, kid. Those were the days, kid. But now, sex, drugs, and rock and roll, you can see what happened. Proper gangsters had to become river taxi drivers. So, where to? That was amazing. <laughs> Um. Do you know where I can find some crocodiles? Crocodiles? Ha, <laughs> kid! The whole Nile is full of crocodiles! But I can bring you to a really extraordinary bay where the crocodiles will dance the samba for you the whole night through. You catch my drift, kid? Yeah, that's where I want to go. A silver piece, and then we'd be off like a rocket. Mm. 
Can't you make an exception? Hey, look. Being a ferryman is a hard job. It's hard and dangerous. Think about it. What do you think would happen if I fell in the water? The crocs would eat me alive, kid. I think about this. What if you fell in the water? Crocodiles have gigantic teeth. But kid, I'll land you safe on the other side. A little silver piece of morale, kid. Hey, think about it. Why don't you? I don't understand your point here. One silver coin and we're off? No problem. Kid, I knew you were alright. Then hand it over. I don't have it. <laughs> This is disgust. Global warming. Even though that had nothing to do with it, I guess. Uh, there you go. Mmm, yummy. Fish. Here's your payment. Lunchtime, black eye. Oh, the aftertaste is a bit strange. Did you eat from the same piece? Mmm. I feel so... Oh, queer. I think I've got to go somewhere. Quickly. I'll come with you. I could need something to wipe my... Um... <clears throat> Alright, that's my silver piece. I think I should wrap it up there. So, until next time.